Hello, this is Darren Ike, and Fridays were a big deal for me growing up in Preston, Minnesota. When I was in elementary school, Fridays brought the weekly reader to our classroom. It was cool, but the coolest thing about it was that it offered us a chance to buy choose-your-own-adventure books. So you have the choice here of your own adventure. Do you want Adventure A to see me do this presentation, or Adventure B to see me do this one? Okay, well, let me guess. The odds are that you want Adventure B because I've never seen anybody choose Adventure A. But believe it or not, Adventure A was a presentation I had done before until I learned the secret of being able to communicate ideas. And you like something that's visual. I can already tell by your choice there. So I choose to communicate ideas with simple Sam V, my buddy Sam V. And that means keep it simple, use stories. Use analogies and metaphors, and also use visuals. As we just saw, you chose the visuals. So stories, analogies, metaphors, visuals, in simple language that people understand. So I'm going to share with you some stories and some tales of idea generation and development and communication. But I believe if you have a good story to tell, make sure you keep on the roots and the dirt so people can see where it's coming from. So where does this stuff come from that I'll be teaching you today? Well, 2004, met a uh, student at a leadership retreat I was facilitating named Anand Chatpar. And Anand had a vision of connecting the idea generators of the world with the idea implementers. He saw when he was interning at Pitney Bowes, it was many of the college students, the younger people, that could come up with a lot of the ideas, but they needed the people that had experience to implement them. So we created this company called Brain Reactions, where we recruited and trained the most creative students from UW, and then uh, turned them loose on innovation projects for Procter & Gamble, the United Nations, big places like that going at a global scale we even created a trip called innovation trip an American road trip of innovation brought executives from other countries to Boston to Harvard to MIT and then flew them to Silicon Valley to IDEO and Stanford to teach them some of the best of innovation so that's what I'm passionate about now is teaching people how to do this and helping them facilitate it maybe you can come up with the next breakthrough idea or disruptive innovation to help you in your work something that's like a LASIK laser eye surgery much better than a contact it disrupts the way we do things so to do that you need to come up with a lot of raw material a lot of raw ideas and man when I was in middle school I wanted to be cool just like everybody else and I love seeing this floating around the internet like a wadded up brainstorm of somebody wanting to be cool ways to be cool they brainstorm motorcycles wear cologne move to Williamsburg learn to speak European grow facial hair helmets mohawks I love it so that's a good brainstormer so how are they doing that what are your tips for generating ideas number one you want to capture your ideas just like that person did list them number two you want to come up with a high quantity of ideas these are like raw materials come up with a hundred number three you need questions the more questions the more ideas the better questions the better the ideas number four don't judge that person certainly didn't judge and number five use idea generation tools these are like taking a different set of lenses to look at your problem or your question or your challenge or using a Swiss Army knife to help you come up with a different kind of idea, for example. And you can create your own idea generation tools. That's what I love doing. I was at South by Southwest in Austin, Texas recently, and they had this cool uh, exhibit. Uh, at this place called Circus Mashimus, that's a part of the conference. And it was about these mashed up concepts, like the spork when the fork married the spoon. Uh, or it was about other concepts that we know, like the El Camino, part truck, part car. Or the mermaid, you see an image of the fish and an image of the woman, you mashed it up to make the mermaid. So what can you mash up in your work? What is your challenge? Is there a way to take something from the outside and mash it into the inside? For example, this concept of service learning was a mashup between community service and traditional courses or academic programs, right? So what can you mash up? For example, some things we've mashed up at UW have been taking the concept of a networking and a professional development workshop and combining them into teaching people networking by doing it. It's a program called Jammin that we launched. So there are all kinds of ways of doing this. But once you have that long list of ideas, what do you do? Well, does anybody know what this is? This is a story that I have growing up in Preston. We went to Forestville State Park, and the park ranger asked us if we could find a gray ball in the woods. So as kids ran out there, and believe it or not, I found that thing in the woods. And we brought it back to the park ranger, and he gave me a quarter as a reward and said, okay, kids, does anybody know what this is? And we didn't. And he said, that gray ball was once a mouse. But an owl found the mouse and ate it. And this is how an owl eats a mouse. It takes the whole mouse in, 
digests what the owl needs, the good meat, protein from the mouse, and spits out everything that the owl doesn't need, the bones and the fur into this gray ball. So that is what you will do with your idea list of these raw ideas. You'll take it all in, digest it all. You'll take those ideas that you may need. They may be the original ideas, the ideas that fit your criteria for something. And then you'll just spit everything else out that doesn't matter. So taking a look at our ways to be cool list, I've decided to digest and work on these ideas. Learn to speak European, learn to play guitar, online friendships, hang out with Steve. So out of those 30 ideas or so, I'm only going to take four in and I'm going to build on those four. I'm going to combine them. I'm going to synthesize them. Looks like we had a theme of learning and a theme of friendships there, right? So to get a breakthrough idea, that's the process. You go through a system. You digest like the all, all these raw ideas you came up with, and then you focus on those ones that have the most promise, combining them, mashing them up even more together, developing them, taking them to the next level. And then when you have those concepts that you've developed, oh, wow, this is the most important part. Remember, you've got to communicate them like Sam V, because many times you come up with a great idea, a great innovation. It's going to work for sure. But we can't communicate it so people get it, understand it, want to be a part of it, collaborate with us. They don't understand it. So keep it simple, keep it Sam V, and communicate your idea more like you're sitting around the campfire with a group of friends, with your grandma, with a 13-year-old, than if you're around a boardroom conference table. So I'm Darren Ike. Those are some very quick tips on being able to develop and communicate innovative ideas.